heading north on the M6 back to the Lake District. I love my reunions with this wonderful place and its opportunities for good landscape photography. There is, of course, another reason to come here and that's to achieve my goal of completing the Wainwright. I was all set and nothing would get in my way, even the sheep. I arrived at the beautiful Wasdale and Wastwater. I had just the one fell to climb today and you can just see it there, just come into view. The fell is Lingmel, which would be my 205th Wainwright. Let the countdown begin. That light. Welcome to Wasdale. Nice and fresh. A little bit of a breeze going on. There's no rain as yet. And I'm heading up to Ling Mail. I'm going to tackle the steep, uh, the eastern, eastern facing, uh, eastern, eastern face of Ling Mail. But our breath, it's quite a shock after three hours drive. But yeah, hopefully we're in for a wonderful day indeed. Now, I brought my small day pack hiking bag option. And I've mentioned this briefly before, but what I'm doing is I'm using uh, some camera shoulder bags as inserts and each bag is covered in a, a dry pack so yeah let's see how that goes plus I've also spot myself and bought myself a new lightweight travel tripod another gitzo it had to be another gitzo but this time it's a baby gitzo right let's get to the bottom of this we'll speak shortly so I'm currently looking at the start of what is a, a rather steep ascent up to the top of Ling Mel. Once you get past the steep ascent, it plateaus a little bit. I think I mentioned the eastern face, it's not the western face. There is an option to go up via Ling Mel uh, Gill, which is a more popular route for a lot of people because that takes you up to Scarfell Pike, which is England's highest mountain, of course. But no, I'm going to do the hard way going up and then probably come back down that way. There is some nice clouds building up over Kirk Fell and onto a uh, pillar. So yeah, here we go. Deep breath. Let's do it. the end of the steep bit I reach the top of that it's now a gradual ascent to the top of Ling Mel across this grassy plain then I'll pitch you up and see what photographic opportunities there is there is light splashing on the fells Red Pike Kirk Fell but yeah do you know it's not that bad that ascent it is steep yeah but with the aid of poles and stopping every so often, it's obviously made that bit easier. And of course, lightweight bag makes a world of difference. 
Right, quick drink. Let's head up there, see what we can find. Every now and then, there's some low a little patch of lower lying cloud just drifting along, but it's not really significant to create the mood um, after. That's the so well, that's scaffold, scaffold pike behind me. You've got the masses climbing it as we speak. I've got to the top of Ling Mel, so I'm in single figures, nine to go. Um, for photography wise, I'm trying to use Great Gable as a, as a background, but playing around with the different shapes and sizes of the granite rock, it's, it's, it's difficult because I want to make sure the proportions in the frame are correct. I don't want them too large because they just become too dominant. So finding shapes and getting a good composition here is quite difficult, but I quite like this. Some nice layers going here. See how the rock formations sweep down and curl up. You've got that lump there. Create some nice layers, a bit of depth. And then, looking up, you've got great end. So I'm going to play around with that portrait, no doubt. Do some local adjustments, increase exposure on these front rocks here. Yeah, create a nice circular movement. So I'm about taking opportunities. There is a deep ravine just below me, and that's called Pierce Gill, and it means we're heading back down towards the main path, which takes you along, well it's near the, the corridor route, along up to um, Scarfold Pike. So I'm going to head down there, because I'll be honest, I envisage this image basically Pierce Gill, a deep ravine, as a leading line. It takes the eye up to Great Gable. I'm just hoping by the time I get there, there's some low lying cloud because I need that. I need that mood or else. It's going to be a decent image, I hope, but with that added moodage. Yeah, makes that impact. So I'm going to head down there now. Pierce Gill is proving difficult. Not quite what I visioned, but is it ever, <laughs> to be honest. Really hard to compose a shot. Um, what I wanted to do, as I said before, is use Pierce Gill, the deep ridge, to uh, act as a leading line that nicely takes you up to Great Gable. Not quite, it's slightly to the left hand side, and it's really hard to position. I've walked up and down a few times, but I finally got something something I've gone landscape basically using the top of the uh, ravine it weaves in and out and uh, dangles across the frame I've still got great gable to the right hand side of the frame and then you've got Kurt Fell as well um, it's just a matter of waiting for the right move the rain is finally coming I thought it was going to hold off all day but it's finally coming a splash of light there so I'm just set up, yeah, and here we go. Introducing the baby Gitzo. There we go. I wanted something light and sturdy and cheap. Struggle with a latter. Gitzos are not cheap. But you pay you, you pay the right price in my, my opinion. It's a good investment. I've wasted that much money over the years buying cheap uh, cheap tripods and they're just stupid really just flimsy so I want it lightweight practical falls up rather small as well it's quite high it's quite high uh, so there you go so yeah the mortgage payment but there you go right I'm gonna wait and wait until I get the best opportunity then I'm gonna fire away with an F11 um, as usual, really. So yeah, I'm just going to wait. Thank you. 
So we've come to the end of the day, end of this session anyway. I'm near the bottom of what must be one of the most busiest routes I've ever been down. And of course, I understand that being Scarfell Pike. It's, it's the quickest route up. Right, back in the cars, yeah, you can probably tell. What a day, it's absolutely bathed in the sunshine now. The rain never, never really came to be honest, um, as forecast anyway, it was quite intermittent. It rained spat for about, what, 10, 15 minutes, that was about it. So I'd never got the mood as expected today, but not to worry. On the way down, I uh, managed to get a couple of handheld shots looking back towards Kirk Fell. Kirk Fell was in shadow. It was a nice uh, a nice clustering collection of trees which are front lit as well. Got a nice bit of separation. So I'll show you these at the end. But yeah, what a, what a fine day. One more fell in the bag. Nine to go. Right, okay. I'm gonna go. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you have, make sure you give us a a like, give us a like, along with a comment as well. Right, till next time, look after yourself, keep smiling. Bye bye for now. Thank you.